What's up guys, it's Taylor Timothy and today we're going to be talking about a touchy subject that I actually got through. We got through this, but it was a little bit scary. So basically what happened is I got my Facebook account suspended. So me as an advertiser, I got restricted access to my advertising account. So I kind of got banned as an advertiser. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, what you got to do to get through it, and some of the tips and tricks I learned from this entire process. So what does it mean to get restricted access as an advertiser on Facebook? So basically your Facebook profile gets banned from advertising. So any accounts that you're connected to literally gets banned and you can't have access to them. You can go in there and see the data, but you can't turn ads on, you can't create campaigns, you can't do anything of that sort at all as an advertiser. So if you're managing 20, 30 different accounts, literally zero access. This is horrendous, terrible. So the first thing that I did right after this happened, I got on Facebook's chat and I said, guys, what's going on? Like I've been doing marketing for eight years now and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Reached out to them, tried to communicate to them and they said this to me, you need to fill out the form that we tell you to fill out. So I filled out the form. So basically in this form, this is not quote unquote, but what I said to them was something like this. And if you're going through this, you could say something similar as well. Basically I said, hey guys, I'm so sorry for whatever I have done, whatever has happened. You literally have to kiss up to them. I'm so sorry for what's happened and I am so sorry. Basically I have gone on to your Facebook policy guide. I've read through it and everything that I have done, I feel like I have put 100% effort into following your advertising policies as Facebook. Facebook has brought me so much joy through their advertising. It's helped me build my career. It's helped me uh, provide for my family and I really wanna make this right. So like I said, I just had to kiss a lot. So the downfall to all of this is this took three days for a response. So I had reached out to other mentors, other advertisers, just trying to figure this out. And basically they reached out to me and said, hey, we are sorry, we accidentally blocked your account. And that was it. So basically the only thing I can recommend is immediately fill out that form and go in there and fill it out immediately if you do get restricted access. So let's talk about the takeaways of all of this, what I learned from it, what may have triggered it, and so on and so forth. So what I'm guessing had triggered this is I started working with a company recently that they hired me to come help with them and their previous advertisers were not following advertising policies. So my name was attached to these ad accounts immediately So something that I would recommend to you, if you're taking on a new client and you, and they have not been following policies, these advertisers previously, and they were just kind of spinning new ad accounts all the time, I would highly recommend that you potentially don't connect that account to your main account. You might want to get your, your friend, your wife, somebody else to connect to that account um, until you get things cleaned up and rolling again. So that's one of my first takeaways is maybe don't connect your account to that advertiser account right away. You might wanna go in another way just to see what's going on. The next thing is, so like I said, is is, um, the advertiser account restricted access type stuff, it's basically blocking your profile. So one of the first things that I did when this happened is I actually got my assistant to connect her ad account and then I got another ad account that my dad doesn't use, it's his account, but I connected it 
to those accounts so I can immediately get access. If something like this does happen, basically, like I said, you're locked out of all your accounts and you have no way of getting in. So if you have other back doors that you can get in, highly recommend. So when you pull on new clients, potentially you might want to add multiple different advertisers to those ad accounts if they'll let you. The next thing I wanna talk about is just don't waste time with customer service. I spent like two hours trying to get on the messenger bot and chatting back and forth, trying to figure this out and everyone told me the same thing. Just fill out the form, we'll get back to you. The next thing is always follow Facebook ad policies. So don't try and beat around the bush with Facebook ad policies. I promise you guys they are very strict when it comes to their ad policies. I, we were following ad policies, um, but like I said, I just had my name connected to that account. Um, so I just highly recommend that you're always following ad policies. So if you just always follow it and everything will be great. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped you guys figure this out. If you're dealing with this, comment below. I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Um, the best that I can, obviously at the end of the day, this ball is in Facebook's court and they're going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. So other than that, guys, if you're needing more help with Facebook advertising, Google paid ads and things like that, feel free to go over and check out my course where I teach you guys all my knowledge in one course. As far as building your website properly, Facebook ads, Google paid ads, YouTube ads, email marketing, and much, much more. So thanks guys for watching this. If you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and peace.